The wheels of a van goes round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels of a van goes round and round, all through the town. How are you, grade threes? I'm fine. And you? I hope you're fine. It's your teacher, Nancyeta. Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. Wow. Yesterday, I visited a building in town. There's a very tall building in town. I don't know if you have been there. This building is called the Times Towers. The Times Tower. It's a very, you see from the word tower, it's a very, very, very tall building. You cannot even use stairs to go up that building. Do you know that? It's very tall. And when you decide to use stairs, make sure you have enough energy for you to run around. But if you are somehow tired, somehow old, somehow sickly, you may not succeed to use the stairs. So you'll just be forced to maybe use the lift for you to go up that building. So when I came back to class and I thought of that building, because I was going almost to the last floor, and I looked at the blocks in our class and decided, wow, why, how, what if I come up with something tall as that building? And maybe I name that every floor which, with its own activity. So, let's see. We are talking about the first floor. Yo, the first floor will be having... We are now going up this building. Assuming this building is our blocks on the table there. Now we are going up slowly that building so that we see we want to name these floors according to activities that goes on. On the first floor we had a KU campus. Do you know what is a campus? Campus is a branch of university. So KU means Kenyatta University. Then the second floor we had a bank. What happens in the bank? Teacher, that's where parents get money. But do you think you can get money in the bank if you didn't keep, it, keep your money in the bank? You don't just get money from the bank. If you worked hard and you kept your money in the bank, you'll get money in the, from the bank. But if you did not work, then I'm sorry, you might not be able to get. Then the, 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 the next had a chemist. The third floor had a chemist. Where, what happens in the chemist? A chemist is where medicines are sold. Then the fourth one had a bookshop, very big bookshop. What happens in the bookshop? This is where they sell the books. Wow. Then the next one had a photoshop. Photoshop is also called a studio. Where you go and take nice photos. Then print them and that was it. Then the next one, it was an, a salon stroke, a spa. This is where massage is done, where salon activities, hairdressing, barbershop, everything is found on the sixth floor. Then on the seventh floor, we had the, on the seventh floor, we had the supermarket. And I don't know what they thought to put this supermarket up there, but maybe they knew the reason. There was a supermarket on the seventh floor. Then on the eighth floor, we had the library. Library where so many books, people can read books. Then here we had a boutique. A boutique is where you buy necklaces, chains, cloth, all the dressing things are found in a boutique. Then on the 10th floor, we had a hotel. Are you seeing the 10th floor? So we are saying this first floor had a what? First floor had the KU campus. Then the second floor, it had the bank. The third floor, the chemist. The fourth floor had the bookshop. The fifth floor had the Photoshop. The sixth floor had the salon. 
the seventh floor had the seventh floor had the supermarket the eighth floor had the library the ninth floor had the boutique the tenth floor had the hotel then i tried to go up so higher so that i can also identify which other activities happen in that building so when i went higher and higher i realized that there are some other activities that go on in that building in this one we had a an agent this one was an airline where you can book your ticket and fly wherever you want it was an airline agent an airline agent is a person who works on behalf of a specific airline maybe kenya airways decides to get an agent and that is an airline agent the floor number 12 had the furniture so and i helped the class to label the building are you looking at the building so we have the first floor and when you look at the first floor that is the the floor on that is almost to the ground so when you look at the 11th floor the 11th floor is the one that had the 11th floor had the airline agent that is where we had the airline agent the 12th floor had the furnitures the home decor these were the seats were sold the chairs the beds they were on the 12th floor now on the 13th floor we had a room for cleaning equipments these are where we have the washing machines we have other electronics like the carpet cleaners the dish wash washers we had them on the 13th floor on the 14th floor we had the other electronics of the house like the television these are mostly found in the sitting room the radios speakers that was on the 14th 14th floor and the 15th floor was the gym the 15th floor was the gym after you've done your activities of the day you can now go up there and refresh and up enjoy yourself as you do some exercises so if you ask if you ask what was happening on the 11th floor what was happening on the 11th floor so our questions are here the airline agent is found on the dash floor the airline agent is found on which floor so you come and look at the building of course it has the direction where everybody was looking at to find out which activity goes on in which particular room so the airline agent is on which floor it was on the 11th floor what if someone asks you what was on what was on the 13th floor what was on the 13th floor what was on the 13th floor at least you'll be able to look at the activities and you see what was happening on the 13th floor 13th floor is where the cleaning equipments were 
stopped. Then our last question here says, the gym was on which floor? The gym was on which floor? Please, you'll be able to look at the arrangement and find out which floor was the gym on. And remember, have you not forgotten? We said the words between 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th. They have one thing in particular. And that is the same thing that continues with the words between 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, and 15th. They all end with a TH. So let's find out what about the, the, the words from 16th to 20th. Do they still have the same TH at the end or do they change as numbers 1, 2, and 3? Up to there, any question? Should I repeat anything? So during your free time, fill in those questions. Make sure you bring your books for marking. It was nice having you around and I hope to see you in the next lesson. Thank you.